Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, in this video here, we're going to be doing a two-in-one video. Uh, this will be an achievement video, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's a how-to video as well. So, we'll start things off with the achievement, um, the achievement first, and that is to uh, visit all twelve of those um, circles here. I'll explain why in a minute. But this is all part of the Bayex Promise uh, side quest, which was a very, very long time ago. Uh, so again, Bayek discovers one of Egypt's ignamic uh, stone circles, that's what they're called, and relives memories of a promise he made to his son, so he sets out to visit all 12 of the circles dedicated to ancient gods and their constellations. And of course, his personal privilege uh, unexpectedly opens the way to a long hidden secret in the heart of Egypt. That's the big clue, a long hidden secret. And I'll tell you the location shortly. But again, um, you have to... You have to complete all 12 of these star activities right here. So right now we're at 11 of 12 right there. Now these... <coughs> <coughs> uh, sorry about that, guys. No, don't worry. I'm not I'm not sick. I'm fine. <laughs> so yeah, uh, these are the stone circles. And they're going to be scattered all around Egypt. Okay? You have to complete 12 of those to get the achievement. And like I said, I'll tell you the other location... For the secret in just a second. First, let's get this one out of the way. Just gonna try and align it here. Papa, what is best in life? To seek justice and truth. To live with honor. To protect the weak. So there you go. That's all twelve right there. And like I said, they are scattered all around Egypt. So you have to end up completing them to get the achievement. Um, if you want information on all 12 of those stone circles, I'll see you about posting a link for that in the description box below. That is the last one. I can take all the shards back to Siwa now. Okay, so that is the uh, Stargazer achievement. There we go. So that's the achievement you'll be getting is, you know, well, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Everybody should know how to get it for sure. It's the Stargazer achievement. That's to complete all 12 stone circles. Uh, now we're going to find and interact with the stone circle in Siwa. Okay, let's see where it is on here. Oh, okay, so that's all the way back over here. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and fast travel there to start. And then once we get that done, and once the quest line's over, we'll take it to the second part of this two-in-one video. <coughs> Definitely need to go with the horse in this one. So we're going to find and interact with the stone circle. In C1. And that should probably complete this quest line. And I think that's right around the desert, I believe. And I think I've started to catch up a little bit here. I think all we have left to do now is finish off those side quests, and then we'll, then we'll be ready for um, for the Hidden Ones DLC expansion. By the way, I still gotta do a couple of Gladiator arenas, finish off the Hippodrome tournaments, and such and such. 
So we'll go back to where we first interacted with the stone circle in Siwa. I'm going to find every stone circle, the Sphinx and Pyramids too, and I'll find my place. My son. Name him means Egypt. Like Egypt, you are forever changed. The stars are yours now, and your place is with them. There we go. So that completes that side quest right there. Okay. So now we finished off the first half of it right there. Now we're going to go to the second portion. And that's travel all the way to Giza. Right where the green sphinx is, we need to activate the ancient mechanism. So I'm pretty sure there's something special hidden behind there. So let's travel here first. And before I end up doing that, I'm probably going to take a picture of the Great Sphinx, because I think that's part of the Ubisoft uh, Club reward. Of course, if you're an Ubisoft Club member, you can easily level up and gain club points by completing certain challenges. I know, <laughs> I know for a fact everybody <laughs> knows that for sure. Okay. Alright, so let's see where we need to go. Okay, so let's go over here. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Surely hope I can find the entrance in there. Well, I guess I, guess I can't, can't climb that. Really? The Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. Okay, so we're gonna go into photo mode. I might as well just take it right now. Hopefully that accepts the uh, club reward. I'm, I'm afraid it didn't pop up, but... Oh well. Okay, now we gotta find the entrance. Which is right. Hidden entrance? How long has this been here? Whoops. Okay, now in order to do this, actually let's put this on here, there we go. Now in order to do this here, I'm not too sure if this is one of the requirements. I would have to say complete all the tomb locations. I'm not too sure about that, but I know for a fact you have to activate ah, all 12. Does not make sense. Well, there must be a way forward. So yeah, but, um, not too sure about the, term uh, the tomb ones there, but, whoops. Already dropped down for no reason, but I don't know about the tomb ones though. But um, as far as stone circles are concerned, uh, you have to complete all twelve of those stone circles and have at least fifty silica, five zero, fifty silica, to activate the mechanism. And I'm pretty sure you'll get a special reward out of this. What is 
So as you can see there, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there you go. All 12 of those stone circles are activated underneath here. Yeah, I figured might as well. We'll, we'll just light this guy up here. Now we'll interact with this. <clears throat> On the other side, making sure I don't miss anything. Nope. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now I think I might as well just. Uh, Search the area here to see if there's any silica around. So I don't see anything else around there, as far as I'm concerned. I'll try the other side very quickly, and then we'll activate the mechanism. Oh. Okay, I think I see two more within the, within the range. So yeah, uh, in order to get silica, you can definitely experience all the tombs. But I would highly suggest to uh, look carefully. I would say search the entire tomb as best as you can to try and gather as much silica as you can, because you will need it in order to activate the mechanisms. So I already have, let's see here, let me make sure I have enough. Yep, got more than enough. Got 80 silica, so you only need 50 to activate the mechanism. Okay, PVR's not frozen, that's good. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else. Let's activate this puppy right here. Place 50 to activate. Here we go. Retransmission. Segment By the way, I'm just going to let this uh, play out here. It's going to be a long one. dreamless sleep or an absence of light, but from a reality that will soon cease to be. Wake up. The next chapter is unstoppable. And yet, the greatest revolutions sometimes originate from the confines of impossibility, do they not? Change your mind, subvert your perception, stop this world, bend it into something new. Destiny is not without irony. Here I am, imploring a lesser version of myself to do what I could never do. In this timeless moment, you and I are a bridge, both of us from different eras meeting halfway at the narrow of the hourglass in this ocean of sand. It is not enough to tell time. You must learn time. To work with your shielding misses a slide, and in so doing, escape the inescapable. 
Fill in the blanks, the ones hiding between words, between worlds. Find the spaces that we could not erase, the variables that ended up erasing us. If you do not, they will erase you as well. Time told of a story that ended with us, and now it tells of a story that ends with you. Once upon a time, a new story will begin. After the functions which run our days have scattered into an array of random numbers. We found solace in order. We thought it would help us rule the world. We were wrong. Order never served us. It has kept us within the code, within the boundaries. We were tricked into thinking we were the ones writing the rules when they were in fact guiding us to our conclusion. You need to transgress. You of all people understand the value of disobeying. Take an unexpected turn away from the path that is drawn straight ahead of you. The Anus was humankind's first unconscious attempt to explain what it could not see. Understanding genetic memories, an eye into history. But the Anus bears a fatal flaw. It follows the rules from those who embrace order, just as we do. It allows you to witness, but not alter. Your Animus is different, as is the mind that imagined it. It could escape the code. It could do that leap and make possible a decision that defies the order of things that are. Wake up. Be the chaos that comes to be. Gods are just like you and me. Remember. Nothing is real. Everything is permitted. Okay, so uh, that is done. Now we'll go ahead and exit the tomb. And we'll actually uh, put on that uh, legendary outfit that we're going to put on. There we go. Okay, so... Oops. Let's go to the outfit. Okay, there we go. Alright, so... Like I said, in order to get this uh, legendary outfit called the Isu Armor... Um, You'll need to uh, complete all 12 stolen circles. Not sure if the tombs will be in a, a requirement as well. And you need 50, um, 50 silica to activate, activate the mechanism. If, if you do all the following, you'll get the outfit. Let's see how it looks like. Uh, you know, oh, wow. That looks sick. Wow. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so uh, there you go. Uh, that's that's a nice two-in-one video. Uh, so there you go. That That's how you get the achievement, the Stargazer achievement, and the Isu Armor Legendary Outfit. Nice little two-in-one special right there. Very, very nice. So I don't have that much to go in the base game. I think it's just the rest of the side quests that we need to deal with here. Uh, I still got to finish up those three elephant locations, too. Uh, work on the gladiator stuff, the rest of the hippodrome races, and then we'll be set for the hidden ones. There you go. That will do it. I know. I know it took 20 minutes, but yeah, who knows? A video is a video. That's all. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching this, everybody. Now, if you are brand new to the channel, if you like the content so far, hit that sub button. Definitely free. Don't have to pay a single cent. Leave a like in the comment in the video section too, and we'll see you next time. Take care, folks.